This is the first Sunday of Advent. Do you know what Advent is? It is the time of year leading up to Christmas. I wonder what's in our wonder box today. What does it look like? It looks like, looks like maybe it's a Christmas decoration. Look at there. It looks like a wreath of some kind. And here's a candle. This white candle right here goes right in the center, and it's the Christ candle. And then we have four other candles. Go on there. I wonder what an Advent wreath is all about. We like the Advent wreath to help us remember there are four Sundays until Christmas Day. We light the Advent wreath and pray that we will feel a special peace in our hearts. Today we light the first candle, the candle of hope. It's hard to wait on something we are excited about, like Christmas. Each Sunday, we will light another candle on our Advent wreath until we get to Christmas Day. A long time ago, there lived a very wise man named Isaac. One day, God sent him a message that a little child would come to earth and teach people how to get along and live in peace with one another. As this child leads, strange things happen. The wolf will live with the lamb, and the cow and the bear will eat together. Strange, I tell you, strange. Hmm. Isaiah shared what God told him with all the people. Wow, imagine everything living in peace and harmony with each other. I mean, that really is something to imagine. Think about it. It was quite a vision. I wonder what you can do to help God's world be peaceful. Greetings, everyone. My name is Gabby. Come wonder with me. Wait, what's that? Wow, it's a wolf. Let me look a little bit closer. Is that a lamb next to it? Normally, I'd be really, really scared for the lamb. We don't see those animals peacefully next to each other. Usually, the lamb is in a lot of danger, but this amazing vision is God's dream of a peaceful world. A world where we can all live together and not be afraid. A world where a small child could put its hand next to a den of snakes and nothing would happen to the child. A world where we can live in joy and hope, not in fear and sadness. In this vision of God's dream for the world, Different things that normally don't get along can live in peace with each other. This is beautiful, but sometimes I wonder if it can happen. I know this world is not perfect, and this vision seems like a perfect world. Even though it can be difficult to see, God imagines a world of peace for all of us. Remember, a blessing is something that God provides. And God's blessing is that God shares this dream of a peaceful world with us. God shares this vision with us so that we can work with God to make it real. Helping can look like a lot of things, like being nice when others are being mean. Maybe it's telling your family that you love them, or it's doing service and helping others when you can. Taking care of the earth is another awesome way to lead to God's beautiful vision. We all can participate in God's dream of spreading peace. I know it's hard some days, but it would be amazing if we could see this dream in our daily lives. When you participate in God's vision of peace, remember the picture of the wolf and the lamb. God's dream for the world is that we can all live in peace, and we can help make that happen. Now, it's your turn to wonder. The time before Christmas is called Advent. The time before Christmas is exciting. But it can also be peaceful as we think about God's gift to us, 
baby Jesus. You've got an Advent calendar at home that we sent to you. Starting on December the 6th, color one picture of your Advent calendar each day. When you color the last square, it will be Christmas Day. Remember, Jesus loves the little children. All the children of the world. Bye! <laughs>